Hey everybody, it's Katie, and I'm out watching the sunset. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Let me turn the camera around. Can you see that? You're pretty. Um, but I wanted to talk quickly about integrity, just because this has been on my mind lately, and I wanted to get a video out with you all, because I imagine if I'm feeling this way, I'm sure others are as well. So what about integrity? Well, um, you know, I'm just realizing more and more lately, especially as I have my alcohol addiction in my past, thanks to the Sinclair method, how I'm realizing how important it is for me to feel like I'm in integrity in my life in order to find real joy and fulfillment and purpose and happiness and all of these things that make life worth living and make life beautiful and incredible. And I'm realizing how much my alcohol dependence was causing me to be out of integrity. Um, not only in my relationship to alcohol, but really in all other areas of my life as well. So I wanna talk um, just a little bit today about what my learnings have been um, and kind of what I realized. And also, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys always in the comments or through email about what your thoughts and experiences have been. So first of all, what is integrity? Um, to me, integrity is a hard word to define with words um, because it's just so vast and so meaningful. It's hard to narrow it down into a few words that define it. It's like trying to define what love is. It's more of an embodied emotional experience rather than something you can just define. Um, but in general, integrity essentially means you're, you're living by values, you have a moral compass, you have a set of ideals and values that you're living by. And so for me, that brings me back to my internal experience. And so for me, that really means living in an embodied experience in yourself where you're really in tune with your intuition and your gut check and you're able to know when something feels right and when it doesn't feel right or when it feels in integrity and when it feels out of integrity. I think most if not all of us have had at least one experience in our life where we knew something was wrong on a gut level and we didn't trust that and we proceeded anyway and regretted that. So what my experience was when I was addicted to alcohol was First of all, I was extremely out of integrity in my relationship to alcohol. I wanted to be able to control my drinking, to moderate my drinking, to stop over drinking, to stop having hangovers, all of these things. And consciously, I would have all the right intentions in mind to be able to do that. It was something I, I really believed that I could do. However, with the biological dependence kind of controlling everything, nearly every single time I would drink, I would over drink and be feeling awful the next day after I did that. So. Um, I would start out just feeling out of integrity almost on a daily basis because I felt like I was not going with my intuitive sense about ways to control my drinking. I just could not get it under control. And then with the other areas in my life, um, with work, with my personal life, with my professional life, with um, my health, all other things in my life, this feeling of being out of integrity because of my dependence on alcohol really impacted all other areas of my life. The alcohol kept me in this kind of mental fog where I felt just kind of dull on a daily basis. And it also took me out of my body because I was feeling so, you know, just low and kind of anxious and depressed and not well on a regular basis that um, it was hard for me, one, to even sense my intuition and be able to feel what it was telling me. And then number two, I didn't have the um, strength or the trust in myself to really trust what my intuition was telling me. So for a long time in many areas of my life, um, I was out of touch with my own intuition and not really listening to it and kind of living a life from a place where um, I was denying my intuitive sense and acting um, just in ways that were kind of dictated by others. And so not being in my own integrity, I was acting out of integrity. And one big example of this was a job I had um, up until six months ago or so, um, where it was a really toxic work culture. And um, I felt like, you know, on a regular basis, I was asked to do things that didn't feel right to me. And even though they didn't quite feel right to me, I would still most of the time do them anyway, just because, again, I didn't have that internal strength and trust in myself because alcohol was kind of blocking that from, from me really tapping into it and feeling it. And so what happened was, as I've been on the Sinclair Method, you know, around eight months or so, hi surfer, <laughs> um, and what happened was, as I've been on the Sinclair Method, is, um, you know, I got more clear, I got alcohol out of my life more, and, um, 
everything kind of came to a head. I, it was about eight months in and there were all these areas in my life where I'd been out of integrity, including the job and everything kind of came to a head. And I got really clear on all these ways where I was acting out of my integrity, feeling on a gut level, really bad about a lot of things that I'd manifested in my life from this drunken fog, essentially that I'd been in for years. And I had a nervous breakdown. Um, and I think I've talked about this in other videos, but it was, it was just o too overwhelming for me to be able to cope with because I was becoming clear on all these ways that I was acting out of integrity in my life. Now, fast forward, you know, the nervous breakdown happened about six months ago or so. Um, it was, you know, of course, one of the best things that could have happened to me. It allowed me to change all of these areas in my life and really get in integrity in my life, meaning get more embodied, get more get more clear on my intuitive sense and practice using my intuition so that I would have um, the ability to trust it more because that was the big thing with alcohol is even when I would have you know a gut feeling that something was wrong um, I didn't have the confidence or the strength or the trust in myself to trust that gut feeling so for so long I was going against what my gut was telling me and kind of living this life out of integrity and what I realized was how miserable that was making me how unhappy and depressed and anxious and unfulfilled I felt living from that place um, and I really feel like it all links back to alcohol kind of keeping me in this dark kind of box that kept me very very small and very boxed in and um, unable to really tap into my intuitive sense and trust that and act from that. And so fast forward to where I am now, um, just really having developed that relationship with my intuition, with myself, enough to where at you know every moment of every day I'm able to do a gut check on the experiences I'm in, in all areas, whether it's work, personal, you name it, and really see, does this feel right? And if it doesn't feel right, and then I'm doing my best to not act on that. And it takes practice, it takes getting to know and trust yourself, especially if you haven't been doing that for so long. Um, and for me, I tend to be somebody who's like a people pleaser and I really have a hard time with conflict and speaking my voice if something doesn't feel right to me. And so it's been this process of navigating it and learning how to do it and I'm by no means perfect and it's still a practice and a journey I'm on. But I'm just realizing how much more joyful and fulfilling life is to be living from this place of integrity where I allow my intuition to guide me, where, um, you know, if I feel off or something doesn't feel right, I can identify it right away. And I can't stay there for very long. I cannot stay out of integrity for very long because it just makes me feel so awful now. And it's so loud and clear when something doesn't feel right. And compared to what it was like, um, you know, when I was drinking a lot, it, it wasn't loud and clear. And I was just masking it with the alcohol so often. And, and it was causing so much just misery in my life. And I I was not flourishing, wasn't living from a purposeful place or a place of passion. And so I really just wanted to share these thoughts today with you all. So please comment below on your own experiences with being both in and out of integrity. Um, and really just wanted to share this, you know, for anyone who's in the throes of alcohol addiction right now, or you're struggling, or you're learning about the Sinclair Method for yourself and others, alcohol really, alcohol when used in excess really has this ability to put a damper on your life and cause you to lose connection to that that intuitive part of yourself that really can guide you at every moment of every day and it's never wrong it's always right and all you have to do is build that trust with it build that relationship with it practice using your intuition for you know everything from what you're gonna buy at the store to who you want to hang out with to what you're gonna wear to where you're gonna work and anything that doesn't feel right um, that is you being out of integrity and in my opinion you cannot f live a fulfilling life full of joy and passion and all these beautiful things we all want for ourselves you cannot live that type of life if you're living from a place where you're out of integrity um, so just yeah gaining so much insight about how alcohol had kept me out of integrity for so long and now that I have more clarity and sobriety under my belt I'm just seeing um, how easy it is for me to be in integrity now and how easy it is to be able to trust my intuition and really just let that guide me. I don't have to try or force or worry. Um, I can really just tap into myself and see what feels right in the moment and let myself be guided by that. 
Um, now, of course, as I said, no, I'm not perfect. Um, it definitely takes practice and it's something that I've been practicing at, you know, the past year and a half more and more since being on the Sinclair Method. Um, but just wanted to share these thoughts with you all today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and here I'll give you a little snippet of the sunset again. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye.